Guess what? I did not get into the film program at CSUN. And yeah, I'm, I'm disappointed. But I'm not disappointed in myself. I'm proud of the application that I applied for and it just wasn't good enough and that's the way life is. That just means I need to try harder next time. And funnily enough, I can directly trace my recent re-spark of passion for this directly to that denial. Back in 2018 and 2019, I was blessed enough to join this friend group that would get together about once a week or so and make these like short two minute sketches, essentially. We got like, what, an hour to shoot this? I heard that. An hour. Okay, so no pressure, considering it's taken like six hours previously. We got this, we got this. All right, let's hope the rest of this goes a lot faster. <laughs> now I never put my name attached to them, nor did I link to them from my like personal daily vlogs of behind the scenes on set. And that's because they grappled with more real uh, situations like spousal abuse or abortion or serious mental health problems then I really wanted to like my stay positive YouTube persona of that era wanted to be associated with <laughs> was a that was a mistake I like now you can't find those videos they've all been like scrubbed from the internet because they were so cringy, and also I look back at my own like work on set and I was so unprofessional and violated so many safety concerns. And while I definitely taught myself several bad habits that I've had to like extract from my mind painfully after taking some classes about how to actually use this equipment. While on the set, this is a take. I'm so grateful for that experience. For two reasons. First, the actual school part of school, it can only do so much because it's such a hands-on craft. But what it does really well is give you assignments and gives you a community, a group to make them with. When I was first going into my community college, the guy that was previously like the main dude, the rising star of the media arts program. We'll name him Thomas for this. We were like ships passing in the night, just getting to know each other for a, like a few months before our life paths split and he went off to CSUN. So two weeks ago, he reaches out to me and says, hey, would you like to second AC on our little student film? And I was ecstatic. I was over the moon. Because since me and my little friend group stopped making those short films because of the pandemic and just, Life got busy after that, you know? I have not had practical hands-on set experience other than these YouTube videos, which are great, but it's, I, I'm alone here. And keep in mind, I haven't actually taken any like upper division cinema classes. I, I, I Googled everything. If you don't know what the second assistant camera person does, it's this. So I went out and bought my favorite object in the universe, my own personal slate. I love this so much. This is legit. This is a working tool. And I kind of have a problem now with um, acquiring slates. So meet their son. <laughs> Look, okay, it's useful for when you have a close up and you like the regular size would fill the frame too much. It's already just traveling. I can always have this in my bag. Really, I just, I thought it was cute. But that's not all. If your frame is even tighter. It's so small, it's a baby. It's, I have used this. This has come in handy before, okay? It was a justifiable purchase. But what if you have an even tighter macro shot? Are you ready for the, I, I, this makes me so happy. Ta-da! <laughs> I mean. It's so small. It's just for like super tight macros of like eyes or something and I carry it around on my keychain and I just, I love it. So I stroll onto set with this and only this. This is not the only job of the second assistant camera person. I was steamrolled by the expectations that I should have known about. I had even read about, but hadn't really considered. The first AC would ask me for tape. I didn't have any tape. The first AC would ask me for a screwdriver. I didn't have any screwdrivers. No pens! I, I, I brought a whiteboard slate and did not bring a marker. It kept happening and kept happening and I felt so embarrassed each time. And everybody on set was wonderful. Nobody was like upset at me. I was volunteering for a student film that wasn't even like a final or anything. This was just one of the many assignments given. There was no pressure. It was a learning environment. And boy, 
did I learn? Literally right after that experience, I went to Film Tools and got my whole, my whole little bag right here. <laughs> we got pens out the wazoo, we got Sharpies, we got so much tape. Literally, the film industry is held together by tape. Actor marks, screwdrivers, lens paper, and most importantly, since then, I've literally sat down and practiced with gaffer's tape how to make that little like tab triangle here. But more than anything, I was surrounded in a group, each person doing their absolute best in their specific role to collaboratively interweave all of our efforts to make art that none of us could make individually. That I had not had in years, and that I missed so bad. I didn't realize how badly I missed it until I was there. All right, that's a wrap! Yay! Yay. So if a second friend, we'll name her Jennifer, asked if I can second AC her set, absolutely. Because of the, shall we say, intensely ingrained lessons of the last shoot, this one went without a hitch. We wrapped ahead of schedule by like an hour, which I'm sorry, that never happens. Happy birthday to you. As, as far as I could see, everybody had a really good time on set. And I met and made several new friends that afterwards we all hung out together after the shoot just, just, just to enjoy each other's company and talk and get to know each other. And I hung out with like a specific group of them till midnight. And it was because of these experiences that when my eyes gazed upon the television application requirement to submit a short like one minute film, I reached out to the leader of the friend circle that would make those two minute shorts back in the day and asked, hey, do you want to do it again? And she said, absolutely. And we got an actor friend and it was a fantastic time with five different locations and a crew of two, me and her, we wrapped well ahead of schedule. We wrapped within seven hours, which sounds like a lot, but we had like planned out for 12 and it was the good old days again. Except this time we actually knew what we were doing. But more than that, I had this spark kind of rekindled that I didn't even realize had gone out. Changing my major from computer science to cinema and television arts was a very scary decision filled with so many implications for the future. But every morning I wake up full of excitement, a big smile on my face and ready and willing and wanting to do really well at school. And that tells me that it was the right choice. I'm in a really good place right now and I really hope that you are too. And whether or not I get accepted into the narrative television option, I'm gonna stay positive because nothing can take away the fact that I can work with my friends and make art that I'm deeply proud of. Crap, I already said stay positive. It's weird to say it again. Um, screw it, stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped using that song because it was epidemic sound and I uh, stopped paying the subscription for a little bit. But I've re uh, subscribed to it, so I wonder if I should bring it back for this. Maybe I'll just use that. Oh dear goodness. I have no dignity on the internet, anyways.